Hey guys, we're going to take a look at the dispatch screen. There's been some updates to this page in the new software. So I've gone ahead and got some orders going on this board right now. We can always see the confirmed, placed, arrived, and route delivered statuses. There's an updated editing status. That's if we have an order that's open and we're editing that order then it'll have an editing next to it until that's complete and saved. We're able to see again our drivers are over here on the left. We can see the order numbers they've taken, tips, delivered times, and the addresses they were dropped off in. We assign our drivers over here instead of from up top. Send the order to the driver still so we assign it and then send the order through. All of our normal controls are up here. Instead of calling new and calling existing, it's just a new order. And we do new customer or existing customer or pull up a specific order number here. Again, same and everything's the same in edit order. And we have all of our different controls here. We take the order and we can modify it with delivered. Or this one in route. This one has arrived. This one is placed. <clears throat> it says, you know, before you can always place in here. It was placed at 817. It looks like we confirmed it with Jane. We'll mark placed. And we'll see here now that we have this one delivered, the number went down to three that he has currently. These are all assigned through to our one driver. We'll see that nothing's been sent through to our driver yet on these orders. I'll show you further in, next, in more videos in the future here, more detailed ways of dispatching. Uh, this specific video is just a quick introduction to this page. We can filter through orders up here, show delivered or don't show delivered. Any pending orders, those are orders their customers are putting in information to the software and then either back out, it kind of catches that and it sends us information and lets us know that somebody's in the process but has left and we call them up to see if they you know, could use any help getting the order through. We can show canceled orders here as well. We'd like to leave that one clipped just in case. You can also filter through advanced orders yesterday. You can look up specific dates very quickly. Filter by status, location, zone, and you can group it by organized by driver or any of these other options here. And that's going to be filtered from top to bottom on depending on which field you want. We'll hide that. And your driver chat's going to be here. This is where we're able to send uh, text messages and emails to our driver. At the locations that we entered in when we programmed Eric into the software, you just type your message here and click send message and that'll go out to him. And then when he responds, it'll show here and there'll be notifications right here as well above this bubble. Again, just to have this collapse, we'll click the button again. And this is where our communication with restaurants would be happening, where we'd be sending faxes through, or and emails aren't tracked in here, but faxes are. It would show if there's a fax going through, and at what stage the fax is at, and if it's gone through or if it's failed. Again, there'll be more videos on each detail of the modifying buttons up here and a quick tour around the new quick glance information at the bottom here. We can also search for customers phone numbers, emails, and order numbers up here as well upon a call and order. There's lots of different ways we can actually hang out back here instead and again we've got our smart maps that we can dispatch from as well. If you guys have any questions regarding how 
smart disp or smart dispatcher works or how smart maps work, go ahead and reach out to us on Yammer. Thanks a lot and have a great day.